Welcome back to Just Keep Scuba Diving. My name is Chris and I am here to help you save money and enjoy the sport of scuba diving at the same time. I do this by reviewing dive site, dive operators, dive gear, dive software, anything that could possibly have to do with scuba diving and some things you really wouldn't think that doesn't such as an iPhone. I did that once. If you like what I'm doing hit the subscribe button and let's get started. This is an introduction to Captain Travis. But midway through the introduction to Captain Travis, you're going to have a very important message from him. Don't hang up at the two minute mark or whenever I click over to him. So on that note, meet Captain Travis. Captain Travis, so how long have you been with Amore? Um, this go around with Amore, I have been here since last August, so almost a year at this point. What makes you stay? You're looking at Choose, choose, between, <laughs> between, between Amore and another, other company. Um, got plenty to choose from. Why do you choose? Man, I don't know. I uh, I enjoy the hotel atmosphere, the resort atmosphere. I really enjoy that because all of our people, they're staying at the resort, and you can see them three or four days in a row. You get to know them. You get to know who they are. You get to know their personalities. You know, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want to have you on my boat again. But that's few and far between. But I like the crew we have right now. Like Chris, Nicole, Mason, they're all very good. And compared to the other shops, I uh, I just feel like we have a good staff and we have a good boat. And it's kind of it. You know, like we all go to the same reefs. Every single shop down there goes to every single exact same reef. What makes the difference is the boat and the crew's personality. Yes. That's what really makes makes you. So, what's really? your pet peeve about divers? Well, mostly it's just. If their names are Fred, Fred or Chris, there's just those names piss me off. That's the thing. <laughs> no, like we were talking about Which I a little been while ago. The, the biggest thing is a lot of them, they feel like, like for me, I really like my job because I really enjoy seeing divers that have no idea what they're doing. Because here's the thing, they, I'm gonna, we're gonna help them out. And they're gonna have a great experience. They have a really good time. Like like the, like the ones that just got in, they're, they're very, very new and they're trying this, trying that. Man, they can go down there and see a bunch of sand. Who cares? You know what? We're gonna get their buoyancy control really good. You know, they're gonna see good stuff. We're gonna give them advice. And all we're trying to do is have them have a good dive, a helpful dive. I'm an instructor. I've been teaching for friggin' almost a decade now. I still listen to the crew. I still ask for help if I need it. Because they know more than I do. Guaranteed. And it's frustrating when divers, A, they will talk during the briefing, which is important because I want you to know how to not die on my damn boat. That's one thing. I mean, it's, 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 that's all it is. And I want you to listen. I know you might have heard the briefing a billion. I know you've heard it. You're the Admiral Captain from Kalamazoo. That's fine. But just shut your mouth for a little bit because that's important to us. You know, when Nicole or, or Chris or Mason are doing their boat briefings, just listen. Because we want you to have a good time. Having a good time means you know how to get off the boat, how to get on the boat, how to do all kinds of different stuff. So listen to the crew. We're just trying to help you out. Just trying. So when they don't listen or act like we're being, you know, condescending jerks, oh, I know all that. Why you gotta keep talking to me? Oh, I've heard. Dude, we're just, just trying to help you out. That's all I wanna do. That's, my, that's why I have this job. If everyone was like perfect, amazing divers that were like badass Aquaman, I wouldn't have a job. But that's okay. That's why I have the job. So, in a long story, that's what it is. The short version, just listen, man. I just want to help you out. Just listen. That's it. And if your name is Chris or Fred, worst <laughs> work off. Oh, just get under my skin. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and that's that's another thing that, that, that infuriates me. We live in a plastic world. I get that. But for everybody that's watching this, I know you can't escape plastic. You can't, you can try. Do it all you can. That styrofoam cup that you'd had for breakfast this morning with your coffee, it's gonna outlive your grand, 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 great, 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 great grandchildren. That's weird, right? It's weird. It that plastic water bottle is gonna outlive you and your children, your children's children. So man, do all you try, do everything you can. Be a fanatic about it, because plastic is just never goes away. See it out here all the time. All the time. You ever try and see a turtle try to eat a plastic bag? Do your part. Get involved. You can make a difference. You don't you think you can't, because everyone everywhere always tells you like, oh, the ocean's too big and 
It's not your problem. You live in Wichita. No, no. You make a difference. No matter where you are, you make a difference. You are important. All right, shut that damn thing off. And there you have it, guys. Captain Travis. And he, Captain Travis is right about the plastic. F the pandas. Save our reefs. Just keep scuba diving, guys. I'll see you out on the boat. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe button.